want to firstly say that I would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eunora, Eora Nation. The, they are the traditional custodians of this land and I'd like to pay my respects to the elders both past and present. And now I'd also like to welcome Yaren Ha, who is joining us via Zoom because she is a CGA rising star for 2021. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. It's an absolute honour. Thank you for uh, having me here. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks for carving out a bit of time for us. Uh, we've just got a few questions yeah. that we wanted to, to uh, throw your way. First of all, um, I guess the most obvious question is why on earth did you decide to become an actor? What were you thinking? <laughs> what, what led you What led you to, uh, to get the acting bug? Mm. Oh, I mean, I, I wish I had like some incredible story being like, you know, I, I went to this show and it changed my life, but I, I kind of was just always surrounded by the kind of performing arts life. Um, you know, my parents met, I think, in like an acting university and um, my grandparents are actors in Korea mm -hmm. um, and my, you know, we would always try to go to Korea every once a year when I was a kid and you know, just kind of always seeing my grandma do a play that she was doing at the time and going backstage and kind of seeing her transform and seeing these people kind of, um, you know, cry, laugh and then clap for her. It kind of just was like so surreal to see that kind of, that that was a job. Um, yeah. So I always kind of knew, um, I was like, oh, that's, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an actor and I was never good at academics. So I was like... This is it. I got to make this work. <laughs> so um, that's yeah. That's kind of how I got the acting bug. I guess I got it from my um, grandparents. Yeah, the fa family affair. Yeah. Um. And and so no other inklings of any other career. Not a oh, if I had my druthers, maybe I'd, would, I might have, have done this. I have a really big sweet tooth. Oh yeah. Terrible. <laughs> So I think if not, I would have been a baker because I think in, in my off time, I like to bake a lot just to kind of clear my mind and mm -hmm. I love sharing it with people. So if not an actor, I would have been a baker or a patisserie chef, I guess. Um, Which is equally a generous thing to do. That's a hard yakka for the benefit of others. Yeah. Yes, yes. Eat these sweets, please. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what what would you say is your you know most memorable project or or the one that you're the most proud of? Um, I definitely probably the uh, Halo, um, the one I kind of finished earlier this year because that one I I think I kind of just got thrown into the deep end. Um, and I really had to learn a lot about myself, um, which was a really big lesson. And, you know, just because of COVID and the, the duration that it took to shoot the show, like I really had to kind of, um, yeah, just, just kind of stick in it and, and just keep growing and asking questions and staying curious, you know, like, no one teaches you, like, no drama school teaches you about, like, hitting your mark. This is a blue screen. This is, sure. space. like, and I think just that being, like, my first real big job, I, I learned so much. I met incredible people and so many people taught me so many wonderful things. So I think that would definitely be my most memorable. So in, in more a, a sort of technical sense, you know, rather than the, the role being, you know, an emotional roller coaster, was it more about just the nuts and bolts of that, that I, kind of size of production? Um, I actually do want to say both. That character, um, she was, um, she's a 16-year-old kind of like rebel leader daughter and um, both her parents have passed away and she's, she's really trying to, find her voice and her, um, I guess, who she is in the world and sticking up for herself, which I'm still learning how to do. So I think I've learned so much from her as well. And um, so I think in technical sense, as well as um, the emotional journey I've had to go through in playing Quan, um, yeah, both go hand in hand. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess it's probably... You know, it's it's unusual at, at such a young age to get that kind of a 
you know, thrown in front of the wolves, you know, to really test yourself. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it was terrifying. But I, I think if you have a passion for what you do and you love to just learn and you love to be surrounding yourself with creative people, you're, you're going to, you're bound to just learn and get yourself on your feet and, yeah. And, and one thing I'm, I'm often curious about is just exactly what your preparation for a role, whether it is, you know, a big budget, you know, huge action-filled uh, thing or, or if it's a, you know, small role in, in, a, in a, you know, TV series or, or even a short film or something, yeah. do, do you apply the same technique of preparation? Like what does, what's the nuts and bolts of that preparation involve? I think for me the, the, the base, I guess, before I meet a director or any of the other castmates is just to kind of, you know, you're, you're creating and you're performing and you're embodying a, a whole human being, you know, not just the parts of the script. So I really like to kind of go back and being like, what did this person go through to get to this point? You really go through specifics. Like I love that kind of stuff, like colouring it in. Um, and that's just my process. Everybody works differently. And but but yeah, going through that, like going through all the kind of different relationships, the different characters that I talk to, like what is that um, you know, uh relationship like? I yeah, I just really like to do kind of the the really heavy kind of book analysis kind of stuff with at least how much information I get. And then once I know I'm like, great, I understand that or I think I've coloured it into at least what I think um, the character is, then I'll talk to the director and see what they think and then adjust and then when I'm on set I'll just kind of play and, and offer and and um, just just see what, what comes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm a very... It's, I've, I was always told when I was young, I'm very much of a perfectionist. I'm a Capricorn, so, you know, I'm a perfectionist. So that was kind of my downfall at the very beginning. So I really had to kind of learn to let go at a certain point. Um, and I think when I know that I've done my best work and I've gone, great, I've done that, and then I can kind of let go and feel like I've done the work and just be like, great, I think I know her now and just, yeah. 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 And um, what? Well, I, uh, this is always an, an, a fun question. Who is there an an actor, actress, someone that you? I mean, and look, let's not limit it to one because that's not fair. <laughs> if there's maybe two or three that you that you hold as a real inspiration, or or just somebody actors that you admire, um, mm -hmm. who would you single out? Ah. Uh. Wow. Um, that is a really tough question, Stevie. <laughs> well, look, and it can, be, it can be an Australian actor, it could be an American, it could be French, um, you know, I, anywhere in the world. I really love um, Tung Gang who is a Korean actor. Um, he's, I think, the way he just kind of performs is so captivating and you can just see like in his eyes like everything is being said or unsaid I have loved and admired and I'm just like how how does he do that how does he say he I think he's such a phenomenal actor and also I guess um I mean a bit cliche but my grandma like I think I just kind of seen her she's not she's only really tapping into screen now but kind of seeing the theater actress she is um and for how long she's done it for and being able to see kind of her endurance and the resilience that she has as an actor, um, I think that's something I really admire as well. So, yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, and maybe one more question just because I've got you now and we're chatting now. Um, <laughs> if there was, you know, a, a role out of the, you know, history of all film and, and art is there one role or one character that you go, oh, man, I would so love to have a stab at that or that feels, <laughs> I feel close to that, you know, even from childhood, you know, just any, any role that you go, oh, man, that would be so fun. Um, I would love 
to be in Sing in the Rain. Um, yeah, because I grew up tap dancing and um, I that's my favourite movie. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so I would love to do like a singing, dancing kind of film and just, yeah, so that would be my, my role. In Good the, choice. The, yeah. Yeah. Solid choice. Mm -hmm. Well, look, thank you, Yaren. That was lovely to chat with you. Congratulations again on yeah. being a uh, 2021 rising star. Yes. And uh, obviously we wish you all the very best. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you.